Long before dinosaurs roamed the Earth, an extraordinary experiment in evolution unfolded in the Paleozoic era, more than 500 million years ago. Today, we explore the top five weirdest creatures that once ruled these ancient landscapes and seas. Creatures that defied every expectation and continue to baffle scientists. Prepare to step back in time and witness nature's wildest experiments. Our journey begins in the Burgess Shale with Hallucigenia, a tiny, worm-like creature only a few centimeters long that looks like it was plucked from a hallucination. When first discovered by Charles Walcott in 1911, its strange arrangement of spines and tentacle-like appendages led to a chaotic interpretation. Early scientists mistakenly flipped its orientation, thinking it walked on its spiky projections. It wasn't until decades later that researchers like Simon Conway Morris and Lars Ramskuld re-examined these fossils and revealed the truth. The spines form a protective dorsal armor, while a hidden pair of leg-like appendages, complete with tiny claws, actually helped it move along the seafloor. Hallucigenia's bizarre design challenges our expectations of early animal life. Its unique body plan not only offers a window into the evolutionary experimentation during the Cambrian explosion, but also hints at the deep ancestral ties to modern velvet worms and even tardigrades. Every fossil we uncover tells a tale of innovation and the unpredictable paths evolution can take. Next, we encounter Opa Binia, a true original from the Middle Cambrian, with its five prominent Stalked eyes arranged in a semicircular pattern. Opabinia appears almost alien. More striking is its long, flexible proboscis, ending in a claw like structure, an appendage that likely helped it seize elusive prey from the muddy seafloor. Initially, its perplexing anatomy defied classification. Paleontologists puzzled over its backward-facing mouth and oddly arranged body parts, sparking debates about whether it belonged to any familiar animal group. Now, with multiple fossil examinations and detailed reconstructions, it's clear that Opabinia was a stem group arthropod an evolutionary oddity that hints at the origins of the arthropods we see today. This creature not only illustrates the diversity of life during the Cambrian explosion, but also exemplifies how nature sometimes experiments with designs that have no modern equivalent. Moving forward in time to the Permian period, our third marvel is Helicoprian, the prehistoric shark-like fish famous for its spiral buzzsaw jaw. Unlike modern sharks that bear rows of replaceable teeth, Helicoprian's most recognizable feature is its tightly wound spiral tooth whirl. For decades, scientists debated where this bizarre whirl belonged. Was it mounted on the snout, the lower jaw, or even tucked inside the throat? Recent studies using CT scans and careful morphometric analysis have largely settled the debate. The whirl was part of its jaw apparatus, optimized for slicing through soft-bodied prey like cephalopods. Helicoprian's unique dental structure and its streamlined cartilaginous body reveal an animal perfectly adapted to its marine environment, one that was both fearsome and highly specialized. Our runner-up is the notorious Tully Monster, discovered in the fossil-rich deposits of Mason Creek, Illinois. Living around 300 million years ago in warm, shallow coastal waters, this critter confounded scientists with its unusual body plan. With a long proboscis tipped with claw-like structures, paired eye stalks that could rotate for a wide field, a vision, and a segmented soft body ending in a pair of tail fins, the Tully monster has been described as both bizarre and enigmatic. For decades, its classification remained an unsolvable puzzle. Was it a vertebrate or an invertebrate? Recent 3D imaging and micro-CT studies have provided key insights, 
revealing anatomical traits like head segmentation that lean toward a non-vertebrate affinity. Topping our list is the imposing Eurypterid, famously known as the sea scorpion. Eurypterids were a diverse group of marine arthropods that emerged in the Ordovician and flourished through the Silurian and Devonian periods. While many species were modest in size, some reached lengths of over two meters, making them among the largest arthropods ever to have walked the earth. These formidable predators sported segmented bodies, jointed appendages, and an array of specialized features from pincers, perfect for grasping prey to a tail structure that may have aided in rapid swimming. If you enjoyed this deep dive into our planet's ancient past, like and subscribe for more journeys through time. Together, let's keep exploring the mysteries of evolution. Until next time, stay curious and keep wondering about the incredible story of life on Earth.